part two because my camera decided to be an asshole and cut me off so I had to delete a whole bunch of stuff. I went from like 1300 things in my folder down to 160 because my camera's an asshole. Anyway, um, I blended out that dark brown and I also put it in my outer V right here and I think I actually want to add just a little bit more just to darken it up. I don't know if you guys can see this coming along, but probably not. Maybe if I get closer. Can you see it? Oh, my face is so nasty without makeup. So then I'm just going to take my finger. I'm going to put it in the shade all the way at the end. I don't know what the concept of the way they set these colors up was, but they're set up really, really funky if you ask me. So I'm just going to put this all over my eyelid. It's like a silver taupe. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. I've got a couple of mirrors going on right here right now. All right, so that is good for me. And then I'm just going to go in with a highlight shade and it's going to be this, I'm trying to find the right brush here, this lightest shade in the palette over here. And I'm just going to put that on my brow bone. Once that is done, I'm actually going to go in that deep brown shade again, and I'm going to actually put this on my lower lash line. I don't know how people do this with their eye open because I get stuff in my eye and then powder in my contact when I do that. So yeah, props to you guys who do it with your eyes open. Okay, so I did have to purchase a new LA Colors liquid eyeliner because I loved this stuff so much and I literally used every last little eeny weeny drop in my old bottle. So I had to replace it and again, um, I get these at Dollar Tree and they usually always have these in stock. And I'm just going to line the top part of my eye. Surprisingly, I actually like this better than the NYC liquid liner only because of this wand. It's like so short and so convenient if you ask me. I'm obviously doing a really shitty job today on this. Oh, and I just really fucked it up. Big time. And then going in with my Jordana 12 hour made to last liquid eye pencil, I'm just going to line my waterline. This has very quickly become a favorite eyeliner of mine. Um, this is still the first one that I purchased from them. Actually, I purchased their brown one, but I feel like it doesn't show up on me, so I don't hardly ever use it. But this black eyeliner lasts me all day, and I love the, how dark it is and how easily it glides on. It doesn't, like, stick to my eyes. God, you guys cannot even see. Like, the lighting, my lighting, my life and my lighting is shitty. I'm sorry. I tried to do this outside so you could see it better. Look at my blue bra hanging out. Fantastic, isn't it? So once that's done, I'm actually going to take my Beauty Blender, which has also been one of my favorites. This is washed and clean, but I use it so much that I've had 
it looks like I got stains and gooeys all over it. Um, and then I'm going in with my all-time favorite Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in the shade 125. I love this stuff. I can never steer clear of it. And sadly, I have tried literally like 10 different foundations that had just come out from the store. And you'll see them in some of my other videos. But... I have not liked any of them as much as I like this one. The other ones I do like, but they're very moisturizing. And I work outside, so with me sweating and wearing an extremely moisturizing foundation, it's actually not working out for me because of the simple fact that I'm sweating. And the sweat with the moisture foundation is, kind of, it like sweats off, I guess you could say. And it sucks. I don't know. Like, the foundation itself is good. I wear it on days that I'm not working because I do work outside. And on the days that I'm not working, I love it, but I just, I just can't wear it at work. It just doesn't work that way. Once that is done, I'm actually going to go in with my Rimmel London Match Perfection 2-in-1 Concealer and Highlighter. Um, I got mine in the shade Fair Light, number 230. I've almost used this like entire thing which is really scary because I don't usually use concealers but I just like how bright this makes my face and I think it's really really people thanks anyway I lost my train of thought because well I did here comes another one For this month, though, I've found a new concealer that I've really been loving, so I'm just going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. Once that is done, I'm going to go in with my... Where is it? My most favorite thing in the whole world. I don't know how to stress this to people. This is $3.93 at Walmart. It is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Contour Palette. This I wouldn't recommend for dark skin tones because it's not that dark, but this is perfect for my skin tone. You can obviously see that I've used the living crap out of this, and it's ridiculous. So I'm just going to go in with the dark contour shade, and I like to pick up a lot on my brush because this color is so perfect for my skin tone that I kind of like to just pile it on. And again, you guys... You can tell, like, no lie, this has totally been a favorite of mine. I u do use a few other things every once in a while, depending on how I want the look to be exactly. But this is, like, my all-time favorite at the moment. So I'm just going to put this in the hollows of my cheeks very sloppily because it's very forgiving and you really don't have to concentrate. And then on my temples and blend it down. And then also a little bit on my jawline. I also like to take a little contour brush and sculpt out the sides of my nose. I don't know why I've been doing this lately, but I really like the way that it looks when I do it. So I'm totally game on doing it. I don't know that it really makes my nose look any different, but I really don't care. I just like the way it looks. And then once I'm done with that... I'm going to go into this highlighting powder, which I love. It just looks like that. It is a complete matte form, and if you ask me, it is super, super duper pigmented, and I just really, really like it, and I'm just going to go in. I don't even know what this brush is, but this is like one of my favorite brushes. Obviously, needs to be cleaned, gross, and I'm just going to swirly, swirly, and then this is just going to go under my eye to set that under eye concealer Yes, I do this differently because I like to let my under eye concealer fully dry before I do this. I do see a lot of people put it on while it's still wet and then it just looks janky to me. Um, I haven't been using, like with my new routine, I have not been using actual setting powder under my eyes because I feel like regardless, it does make my... Um, my eyes crease. I do get a little crazy with this highlighter just because this is like the most perfect matte highlighter ever in the entire world. So, just saying. Alright, once I am done with that, 
I'm going to go in with my, I'm trying to think, I've been using two blushes on a regular basis, but we're just going to stick with the one that I absolutely love. This is the shade Baby Doll by Essence. I don't know if you can see that. It's their Silky Touch blush, and it's my most favorite ever. And I think I'm missing a brush. Nope, here it is. And I'm just going to swirl it and apply it to my cheeks. It's actually like a very pigmented, really pretty dolly pink, I guess you could say. And it goes on so flawlessly. It makes your face just look super smooth and super pretty. Once that's done, I'm going in with my most favorite Wet n Wild color icon product ever. This is in Sunset Junction. I've used the crap out of this as well. I usually use this blush. That's what I was trying to decide between the Essence or this one. Um, but I've been using both of them equally. So I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush. I'm actually going to hit that bronzer shade and tap it off. And I'm going to just apply this all over to give me that beautiful bronzy glow. Once I'm finished with that, I am going to hit this highlighter shade, which is like hands down the most beautiful highlighter ever. Well, that I've tried anyway. I know there's a new highlighter. I don't think it's available for purchase yet, but it's the um, Jaclyn Hill Becca collab that they did. And I saw Jaclyn Hill swatch it on her channel, and I was like, oh my god, I need this in my life. And it's probably going to be like $500,000, but you know, it might be worth it. I hate when people make expensive products. It's just stupid ridiculous. That highlight, though. I just hate how expensive a lot of things get when you can get like equally as nice products in the drugstore. It's just ridiculous. So then once I am finished with that, I'm going to go in with my newest, most favorite setting spray. And this is, oh my cap fell off. This is the Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray. Runs $6. Um, the only place I found it was Walmart. I'm just going to spray my face. Yes, I use a lot. And then I'm just going to wait for that to dry. Once that is dry, I'm going to go in with my most favorite lipstick of this month. This is the Maybelline Bare All Shade 910. And this is such a sad story. Look at That's all I literally have left. I get so many compliments wearing this. And a lot of people that are on YouTube are like, that makes you look dead. You shouldn't wear it. Well, guess what, guys? I like the dead look. Just saying, I love this color on me. It does get like somewhat patchy, so I do kind of rub it in with my finger. And I usually put a gloss over the top of it, but I'm not feeling the gloss today. Yeah, I may have to redo that because it kind of like just, I had foundation on my lip. And it kind of like is making it separate, which is really weird. I, I have not run into that problem. Yeah, it's kind of strange. Oh well. I'll just blend it out a little. The quill sub's going to look really shoddy. <laughs> yeah, don't have foundation on your lips when you do that. And then I have been absolutely loving this Voluminous Miss Magna Rock Mascara. Miss Manga. I said that wrong. Um, but I've been using two of them. And this is the other one. The Cover Girl, the Super Sizer. I think that I like both of them equally. But this is what the brush looks like. And I feel like it makes my lashes look super, super long. And this one, I usually just apply a couple of coats to give me that real dramatic doll lash. But the Rocket Mascara is one of those mascaras where, like, it's a one coat and go type of thing. This one, I feel like you have to apply multiple coats. And the more coats you apply, 
Um, I feel like it does actually get pretty clumpy, so with that being said, it's really great for your bottom lashes, though. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's one coat on that side, and the other side doesn't have anything on it. So I'm going to complete the other side. Once that is done, I'm going to touch up the spots that I got mascara on my eyelids and under my eye with a Q-tip. Q-tips are also my fave. Q-tips are definitely in my favorites. And then that is the completed look for you guys using all of my monthly favorites. For the month of May, I will give you a close up. Anyway, so that is it. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!